everyone good news i finally got all of the projects done uh took like i i want to say four weekends which is way too long but um if you guys watched the previous videos you saw or you heard of the uh, complications that i was having and how stupid i was being but i finally have the the stuff done so anyway um the rear diff bushings are in both the lock bushings and just the ca the carrier bushings and then yesterday i was able to swap the car over to um to uh water and water letter and uh there's a little issue and i'm kind of here's another idiotic thing and i don't think you're gonna be able to see it <laughs> but uh i guess i was obsessed with having the heat shield still on the uh the brakes so you really can't see it, and that's uh, that on my end, and I am, there it is, but uh, sorry, going at this spontaneously, kind of, but um, yeah, so right there, right next to the caliper, um, the heat shielding on the back side had pulled off and was scraping against the, uh, the rotor, which prevented me from finishing it last week. And so this week, while I was up in my work location, I bought some uh, JB Weld and put that on. And after I had finished applying it, um, I realized, dang, I could have simply ripped the uh, heat shield off and been perfectly fine regardless. But live and learn, whatever. Uh, the heat shield is back on with uh, JB Weld that can hold up to you know, an instant 550 and then sustained, who knows. So <laughs> I may have a problem again come track time, but we shall see. Anyway, happy to have that done. That allowed me to take the car for a test drive. And um, I've got to say, I am remarkably shocked. I, I thought it was snake venom reading the bottle and hearing or reading uh, claims about water, wetter and water, but holy cow, are they true? Um, Obviously, I haven't taken on the track and I've just been strolling around town and whatnot, but uh, temps reached 198, and that's usually when about my fans come on, and they just stayed, or the temp stayed there, started to dip down, and then uh, when I was cruising, um, when I left the house, it was about 75, and then when I came home, or on the way home, the temp had gotten up to 85 degrees, so a little bit of difference. But the water temp stayed the same, which was insane. And at cruising speeds of 55 to 60, I was seeing uh, temperature drop down to like 181. And then it would rise back up to 185 and then go back down. So the fans aren't even kicking on to keep it cool right now. And I'm I'm uh, excited to see the, the, uh, the results that the track brings. And we'll see. There was a little bit of coolant left because I didn't start the motor and get all the fluids running and everything to get the rest of the coolant out but i do also have the adapter to go right there for um future installs or future uh, uh coolant temp install and then i also think i'm gonna have to replace the lower radiator hose because it is silicone but uh when i took off the um the uh, worm clamp uh, the holes of the worm clamp had dug into the silicone and were uh, getting it bent out of shape. And so I, to avoid any future holes in that silicone, I'm going to uh, probably get a new one. But brakes are working fine and everything. And excuse all this mess, but uh, I wanted to keep it organic, I guess you could say. This is pretty much everything that went into all the projects that I did, including the coolant for the truck. And then the new addition is the oil, finally. Uh, Rotella T6 found that again, so that'll be going into the truck here shortly uh, Next weekend, which is when I will tow the unspoken of as of yet Honda Civic that's on the other side the daily driver the beater um, Plain and simple, but love that car. Honestly it saves me a lot of money to be able to finance the stuff for this thing so We got that and then I still have to look and you know kind of Kind of look at the finances, see where I can fit things in, especially with circumstances that are going on right now. I don't want to spread myself too thin on cash, if you know what I mean. 
and dive into everything, fix all the issues. Because I don't, and the issue that I'm talking about right specifically here is the uh, the trans for the truck. I can buy it now. However, there's situations that loom if you guys, if anyone's paying attention to what's going on. So I'm going to wait a little bit to see what the outcome of that is. It's still good for now. And we'll see what the path to VIR from the new house is. But that is also another update. I finally closed on that house. So getting this thing done was almost paramount. So now it can drive under its own power. I, like I said, the Honda will be going up to the new house uh, next weekend. And then this one, uh, the Subaru, I'll be going to VIR with it for the weekend of the 20th to the 21st. And then it's immediately going to the new house instead of coming back down here from VIR. So pretty excited about that. But uh, I'll have to obviously show you all when I get there. But the Subaru, it literally has a garage that's a little bit wider than what this one is right now. Uh, it's no taller, but just a little wider because I don't have a staircase specifically. But um, all dedicated to that and then there's space for the trailer and the truck and all that fun stuff so got some future developments coming and uh yeah i'm excited to share but just wanted to let you guys know the projects the rear diff's done coolant is done truck just needs an oil change and then some moving around so i don't know if i'm gonna film that for y'all but uh i might bring you along but for sure track weekend is coming up and that's gonna be exciting so all right, until next time, I appreciate it.